What is up everyone? Welcome back to Base Damage. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more Hollow Live. This time more focused on the wonderful, adorable Kohai, which is Kureji Ali. Uh, I <laughs> really like this Climax combo and everything, and it feels like you're pulling off a standby without actually having a standby, like, in the deck. Uh, and I've seen, I've seen a kind of an alternate build of this where they used the level 1 Chloe. Uh, but I'm not going to be using that because I don't want to have to splash in like the La Plus and everything to try to make certain that works. I just wanted to go for a bit more of a consistent build that I feel could be very fun. And this time utilizing uh, the Ayame that I used in the Toa build. So let's get right into it. This is an 8 salvage deck, so obviously we're going to be using stuff like the Anya and stuff. So let's get to it. The first card is actually a, a very interesting interaction that I learned uh, uh, someone actually uh, commented this on another video uh, that I was looking at, and I didn't realize this interaction occurred. Uh, this is Summer Vacation Akai Hato uh, 3215. Uh, this is from the Trial Deck, so you got to get your hands on the Trial Deck cards for this. So. Uh, it says, During the turn that this card is placed on the stage from your hand, at the beginning of your attack phase, you may put all players' characters except this card into their waiting room. Uh, and <laughs> if you do, this gets the following ability until end of turn, which is uh, up to one time per turn when damage dealt by this card is canceled, you may deal three damage to your opponent. I heckin' love this card. I've used it in the Coco deck as well. Uh, the one that was with the uh, the Coco and Flair as an eight choice build. Uh, and this is just hilarious to watch your opponent just be like, oh look, I, I have this... Ein's build or some like crazy ass board that you're just like too bad bitch it's gone <laughs> this is just a really funny card but we're actually focusing on this a bit more as of a legit finisher and I'll explain in a little bit here uh, but it has a secondary effect when this card attacks you can pay two and pitch two if you uh, if you do deal two damage to your opponent so neat little thing there we're going to talk about the interaction when we get to the level three ollie but we do have a couple other level three utility cards here uh this uh three two ten k wandering bard su uh, sunamaki watame i was about to butcher that name uh, when this is placed on stage from hand you can pitch a climax to salvage back a hollow life character and when it's placed on stage from hand you can pay one stock if you do choose one climax in your waiting room return it to your hand really cool uh but this is uh this has a a very useful effect uh, to get back the climax for the ollie uh, and then we have Demon Pop Nakiri Ayame. It's a 3285. If your waiting room has two or less climaxes, this gets minus a level while in your hand. When this is placed on stage from your hand, if you have another Hollow Life character, this gains 2k power until the end of your opponent's next turn. She doesn't overstay her welcome, but she does what she needs to. This, uh, the last effect is very useful. On play, you get to pick one of two effects to be able to play. Uh, one of them is look at up to three cards from the top of your deck and choose any one card amongst them, put into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. You can do this to dig uh, for climaxes and stuff like that. Uh, and the other option is you can heal the top card of your clock to your waiting room. So, Optional healer, pretty good. Now the backbone of the deck, a step towards the future, Kureji Oli is a 3-2-10k. When she's placed on stage uh, from her from your hand or by the effect of her own effect, uh, you can heal one uh, from your clock to the waiting room. And when this is when this card is in your waiting room, at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have her salvage trigger, which is this one right here, her just looking all adorable and everything, uh, if you have that in your climax area and your level is two or higher, all of your characters are hollow alive. You can pay one, pitch one, summon this, put this card on any position of your stage. So she gets to summon herself back. It's it, she's a zombie, so she's coming back from the dead. It makes sense thematically, as well as it makes for a very, very interesting interaction that I was pointed out about. And that this is the backbone of the deck. This okay, so the wording on this is at the beginning of your attack phase. So there's another card here that says at the beginning of your attack phase. <laughs> so if you play the Hato and then you go, okay, climax phase, I'm going to play Ollie's uh, salvage trigger here. You can choose the order of the effects and how they go off. So you can Hato 
blow up the entire field first. Everything's gone. She's the only one left standing. And then it's still the beginning of the attack phase. As long as these are already in your waiting room, and I, I've figured out, I've learned that the timing of this is important. As long as there are two in your waiting room or something, or any number, honestly, but as long as you have at least two, you can summon these after Hato has already blown up the world. And, go, and she, she's basically Judgment Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! So she just go, boom. And then you just summon out two Ollies, and you're able to attack with uh, three characters, one of which can do like multiple instances of damage. You heal a little bit. Uh, you just you get bodies on board, and it's just really really funny <laughs> to be able to do this. And I didn't realize this interaction because it's at the beginning of the attack phase. You get to choose which effects go off at which time and everything. And when I got when I realized that, I was like, oh, this is hilarious. I'm building a whole fucking deck around this, so. That is the main interaction of this deck. You can summon any copies of this out at level 2, which is very useful, especially because of the first level 2 here. Uh, this A Step Towards the Future, Anya Melfisa, is a 217k. During your turn, if you have four or more other Hololive characters, this gets 5,000 power and the ability that during this card's battle, your opponent cannot play events or backup from their hand. This is honestly really useful, just to be able to get over some annoying cards. But her second ability is where her biggest utility lies, which is when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay one, pitch one, search your deck for up to one climax with a salvage trigger in its icon. Uh, reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. So being able to grab either of your climax combos at any point is very useful off of this. So just really, really fun and, and <laughs> able to... You, you can get like the Ayame going multiple times, like say between level one and two. You can get the ollie off multiple times at level two and level three and everything so just really useful and honestly she gets really freaking big and just goes you know whatever she's attacking is dead more than likely the other level two is two copies of this hoshimachi suisei who grants wishes is a 2-1 2500 backup when you use this card's backup you can discard any two cards if you do choose one of your opponent's characters with a level higher than their level and put it at the bottom of their deck just really useful anti-change backup i don't really run a whole lot of other backups in this deck i have another version of this deck which i'll talk about in a second here uh but this is the only backups to really run in the deck it doesn't really matter you get filtering enough cards it really doesn't matter uh so the other climax combo of the deck is from the trial deck as well. Uh, Ayame's first anniversary, Nakiri Ayame, is a 1045. If you have two or more other Hollow Life characters, this gets a thousand power. Just constant, really easy, constant 55. On attack, if a celebration together, which is this uh, 1k1 salvage trigger, uh, is in your climax area and you have another Hollow Life character, look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one level one or higher card from amongst them, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. I utilize this in the Toa build because it can grab a level one or higher card, which let you get the event card that you need to discard for the Toa's effect. But uh, for this, it's more the fact of you can mill a whole bunch to be able to set up your waiting room, make certain you mill off the Ollies to be able to, uh, to get the combo off, whether at level 2 or when you decide to blow up the world at level 3. So, that was the mentality going behind this. I have uh, another deck. I It is very, very similar to this in terms of the level 1 engine. I'm instead using a Shiranui Flare from the trial deck that I used for the Coco build. And I'll, I will link the... Uh, I'll put the link for that in the description along with this one as well. And you can check that out. There's not that much of a difference outside of the level ones are different, uh, where it's the level one flare and a modding instead of the Louis here. And it has more backups and everything. But for the most part, a lot of the, the level zero games, like basically the exact same in the level two and higher game is for the most part, the same, except the Anya's because you don't have enough salvagers to really worry about it. So uh, but it, it's so similar, I don't feel like there's a need to really bring it up and like show it off. I'm just going to put the link in the description, check it out at your own discretion. Uh, then we have four copies of Methods for Success to Takane. Louie, this is one of my favorite cards of all time. She's just so fucking smug and I love it. It's a 104k. This gets a thousand power for each of your other Hololive characters in your backstage, making her a 6k if you have both of them filled. When this attacks, if you have two or more other Hall Life characters, look at up the two cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card amongst them, put it on top of your deck, and put the rest into your waiting room. Really useful to be able to choose what you're going to be triggering, and when you do the effect, if you see 
uh, one of the cards is an ollie and you want to go ahead and just pitch that to the waiting room, you can. Or even you can make certain that it's uh, in your stock for later if you're about to refresh or something. So really just kind of depends. Because I will admit with the IMAs, you're going to be able to mill a good bit and try to refresh more as well. So anyway, that is it for the level ones. Onto the level zeros, we actually have two different climax swappers in here i wanted to put one of each color that the deck is running but i found out there's like five different climax swapper level zeros in the, between uh volume one and volume two l and honestly uh for the premium booster as well because there's like a coyote and everything so you got your you got your spoiled for choice in terms of uh which color you need so i just picked the two the yellow and the red one uh, mature flavor, Sunamake Watame. Uh, <laughs> when this is placed on stage from your hand, pay one pitch a climax to salvage back a climax. And when damage dealt by this card is canceled, you can put this card into your stock. Neat little extra effect for her, to be completely fair. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. The Nene is basically the same effect. Uh, the wishing for a future with you. Oh, this is also from the premium booster. Uh, on play, pay one pitch a climax, salvage back a climax. So you got two different climax swappers. I just figured to keep the ratio even for the colors. Uh, then we have Towards the Future Together, Natsuhiro Matsuri is a 0015. Uh, she has two act abilities. You can tap her to give one of your level 1 or higher characters 1500 power till end of turn, which can be very significant to make certain the Ayames get over, uh, get over particular cards. And then a Brainstorm of Pay 1, rest this card. Uh, mill 4 for each climax, you get to salvage back a Hollow Life character. So once again, very useful due to the fact of the Ayame doing so much milling with her climax combo. You're able to fill up your waiting room with whatever cards you need. And you know, being able to salvage back whatever you need at any given point in time is very nice. So, uh, Four copies of Towards the Future Together, Inugami Korone. This is just a really fun level zero that I love to run. <laughs> I love to splash this in like whatever yellow deck I can. Uh, when this is placed on stage from your hand, look at the two cards from the top of your deck. Put them on top of your deck in any order. This is like a really fun starter card to be able to just put down. You look at the top two, you see that one of them is a climax, and you can put the climax uh, to be the second card. So you know, you, you're like, okay, you swing with the one, and then you know that the very next card off the top of your deck is a climax, so you know it's getting canceled. It's just a really fun starting card to be able to do that. And also, at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, if there's a character facing her, you can move her to an open position of your center stage. What the dog doing? She get to run around. Uh, we got two copies of Time Just for Two of Us, Pavio, uh, uh, Pavolia Rene. I was about to butcher that. So, 00500. The price for this is actually way better than I thought it was going to be. When it first dropped, it was like 10 or $11, but I think it's like 2 or 3 bucks now. So, this is much more uh, affordable to be able to get now. Uh, when this is placed on stage from hands, you can pitch one card. If you do reveal the top card of your deck, uh, you choose a level X or lower character in your waiting room equal to the level of the revealed card. So just really a really good to be able to get back uh, cards that you need. And if you need like your level zeros for certain things, it's like especially if you need to get back like your climax swappers, really easy to do that. Uh, during this card's battle, when the damage you receive is canceled, you may return this card to your hand. So she could potentially just keep bouncing back over and over, which is really good. Uh, we talked about the Nene. Uh, two copies of the uh, Kureji Ali promo, which is the uh, pay, uh, the pay one pitch one on play to draw uh, to search for a, a Hollow Life character from your deck and add it to hand. Just really good to be able to grab the Ayames, grab whatever cards you really need. Uh, there's 15, 20 different versions of this promo. They all have the same drop searcher effect, and the if this card is in middle position of center stage, this gets 2k power. There's a whole bunch of copies of this, but I wanted to run this one in particular. Uh, one, we're trying to capitalize on Ollie here. Speaking of capitalizing on Ollie, we do have another Wishing for a Future with you, Kreji Ollie from the Premium Booster. It's really simple, 001k. It is all of your characters in front of this game, 500 power. It gives the Ayames a little bit more of a buff, and then you can tap this card to give one of your Hollow Life characters an extra 1,000 power till end of turn. Just really useful in terms of that. And just wanted to capitalize a little bit more on Ollie, just kind of to fit the theme and everything. Uh, but these also end up being very useful. Being able to search for your Ayames, being able to buff them, make certain they can get uh, get over particular cards. They, they get pretty big for the most part, but being able to like try to keep that going is, is really good. So, And obviously we got four copies of A Celebration Together and four copies of Meanwhile in Another World. So there you go. That is it for the deck. Uh, like I said, I got another version of this. Link for it will be in the description. And link for this one will also be in the description. 
But with that, we're going to be hopping off for now. Thank y'all very much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy it and uh, just got to love some Ollie. Just shout outs to, my, to Moroku, just one of his favorite uh, VTubers of all time. So uh, with that, we will see y'all on the flip side. Peace out for now.